Welcome to Mix CG Arts. Get ready for an exciting journey into the world of eye-catching and mesmerizing procedural stylized cartoon eye textures. With Blender at our side, we'll bring our imagination to life by animating the iris, adding a captivating level of detail and realism. Let's ignite our creativity and start crafting. Press Delete key to delete. Press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Let's go to the front orthographic view by pressing numpad 1. In the pop-up menu select view. Press Shift D to duplicate the object. Change their names into outer and eye. Hide the outer sphere. Right click and select shade smooth. Press tab to go into edit mode. To grow selection hold control and press numpad plus. Press X and select delete faces. I'm selecting the edge mode here. To select edge loop press shift alt. From faces menu select grid fill. Increase the offset to align the grid. To go the right orthographic view, press numpad 3. Select the display X-ray mode. Unhide the outer sphere. Press tab to go into edit mode. Make the outer sphere smaller by pressing S. Select the face project in Snap to menu and check the project, the individual elements. Let's go to the front orthographic view by pressing numpad 1. While selecting the grid mesh activate the snap menu then press G. And without moving the mouse press left mouse button, that'll snap the grid to the outer sphere. Select the viewport shading display mode. Now you can delete the outer sphere. Press Ctrl 2 to add subdivision surface modifier. I'm pressing the numpad 3 to go into the right orthographic view. Press Shift D to duplicate the object. Unselect the snap menu. Select the display wire frame mode. Press SY-1 to flip along Y axis. Press Shift N to recalculate normals. Let's go to the shading workspace. Press numpad 1 to go to the front orthographic view. While selecting the object press new to add the material to the object. Press Shift A and press S to open search bar. Let's add gradient texture node. To go the edit menu and select preferences, then in add-ons menu search for node wrangler and activate it. Select the gradient texture node and press Ctrl T to add mapping and texture coordinate node. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Change the linear into sphere. Change the X and Y location into 0.5 in Mapping node. And change the Z location into minus 1.4 in Mapping node. Add a Color Ramp node. Let's make Cornea transparent. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Join Color Ramp node to the transmission value. Reduce the roughness. Press G to move. Press Shift A and press S to open search bar. Let's add transparent BSDF. Let's add Mix Shader. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Select the Display Wire Frame Mode. Press L to select Mesh. Add a new material and assign it to the mesh. To make it transparent, in settings change the blend mode in alpha blend. 
Uncheck the show back face and select screen space reflections options. In render properties select the screen space reflections and refraction options. Press Shift A and press S to open search bar. Let's add Gradient Texture node. Select the Gradient Texture node and press Ctrl T to add Mapping and Texture Coordinate node. Change the generated to object. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Change the linear into sphere. Add a color ramp node. Press Shift D to duplicate the object. Let's add a mix node. Change float into color. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Let's add noise texture node. Change the factor into 0.04. Change the size into 0.4. Add a Voronoi texture node. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click twice to view the node. Change the point into normals. Change the Z scale into 0. Increase the scale value of Voronoi Texture node. Increase Noise Texture Scale. Press Shift D to duplicate the object. Let's reset the Color Ramp Texture node. Change the Linear to be Spline. Press G to move. Let's add a mix node. Change float into color. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Change the mix to overlay. Hold Shift while selecting. Press Shift D to duplicate the object. Let's reset the Color Ramp Texture node. Hold Ctrl and Shift and then click to view the node. Change the Y location to 0.4. Change the Z location to minus 0.2. Press Shift D to duplicate the object. Change the overlay to multiply. Let's add a value node.
Change the value up to 1. Yes, by changing the values that control the size of the iris, you can animate it. Increase the roughness to 100% and reduce the specular up to 0.